Kato, welcome to my reaction to the Sony State of Play 2022. Uh, I'll ask you guys, first of all, what did you think of this State of Play? Did it live up to your expectations? Or did you see all the leaks online like I did? And then you went in, you're like, yep, yeah, I know what we're expecting. And it was everything pretty much that we were expecting to see. All those leaks were true, but still, a pretty good state of play, I gotta say. And I'm not gonna mention every single game, obviously, that they showed today. Just the games that kind of mattered to me and meant something to me personally. Uh, let me know what you thought, what you liked about this state of play down below. Now we started off with Capcom and announcing something that we knew years ago. We knew this was coming out. We didn't know exactly when. We saw on Twitter, yes, it's gonna be in the state of play tomorrow and today they showed it, and that is the Resident Evil 4 Remake. How does it look? It looks pretty good. I mean, I can't say I'm disappointed at all. I didn't look at it and go, oh geez, they haven't done a good job here. If it's anything like Resident Evil 2 and 3, I will be happy. And seeing the visuals and all that, seeing the, the original village that you walk up to in the beginning of the game, seeing that kind of realized, that was exciting. So very thrilled to see that and I think it's going to be pretty good, and that's coming out in March 2023. 2023 is going to be a pretty epic year, and we also know that they have the VR2 in the works, and it seems that the Resident Evil 4 is going to get some content there for VR. In what capacity, I don't know. I was waiting, I was waiting though for Village. I'm like, are we going to get Village DLC? Because that's what I want. That's what I want to, because I can play that now, I'm thinking, right? No, uh, they're going to do some Resident Evil Village uh, VR 2 stuff. So that's coming out. And I'm like, okay, that's cool, but I want that DLC. And there was no mention of the DLC. So we'll have to wait a little bit more time. And they showed No Man's Sky in VR 2. Uh, I think that'll be a pretty extraordinary game to play in VR. I think that'll be a really amazing thing to witness. And then, obviously, Horizon VR, uh, Call of the Mountain uh, for VR 2, that was shown. And uh, that's going to be a bit of a showpiece game. I think it's going to be more cinematic than anything, but I haven't played it yet or anything like that. Am I interested in PlayStation VR 2? Absolutely. Absolutely. I liked the original PlayStation VR. I got hours and hours of entertainment out of it. I understand VR is not for everybody, but it sure is for me. And sometimes do I get motion sickness yes but i still put my best uh, foot forward and try to take it and uh i'm looking forward to the better resolution of psvr that's the thing that's going to be the most exciting and i hope i hope we get some real jrpgs for it this generation that's what i was hoping for last generation and we didn't so hopefully going forward we do okay they showed the game stray and this is a game that me and my wife were looking at and we're like we're looking at each other we're like, uh, like this is like, a, like about a year ago when they first showed it. I was like, this looks amazing. And it's a bit of this cat walking around some cyberpunk city, very neon lights and all of that. And uh, you're trying to traverse the city, avoid the dangers, obviously. I am totally intrigued in this game. It's really fascinating of a concept. I remember friends of mine talking, wouldn't it be really cool if there was like a cat RPG game out there or a cat action game? This is that realization come to life and it has the backing to look pretty damn good and hopefully the gameplay is there and it comes together. It's something I'm definitely, definitely interested in. What do you guys think about Stray? Okay, okay, we got to get to this. This is the big one. This is the big one. Did I know it was going to be announced? It was leaked. It was leaked, so as soon as I start to see it, I'm like, is this it? Uh, to be honest with you, at first, I see signs in the city saying Metro City, and I'm like, Street Fighter or Final Fight? And we know all the worlds are connected, but I'm like, is this like a... I, I, I honestly thought it would be a Final Fight game at first. And to be honest with you, for the first little bit of the, the, the trailer, I thought it was a Final Fight style of game. I didn't even know. I, I thought maybe a, like a wrestling game. I, I know, I was even thinking like that for, for Capcom. I'm like, maybe this is something that we really didn't see coming. No, we did see it coming. It was Street Fighter Six, and it also, boom, that's up there. What do I think? 
This is a really strange thing for me to say. It had Ryu there, Chung Li there. Um, it it didn't feel like Street Fighter. I'm just gonna say that it didn't seem like Street Fighter. It was so bright and colorful. Um, but um, it said Street Fighter, so I'm like, okay, this is Street Fighter. I I'm gonna say something that's like a little bit of a downer, a little bit. I wasn't completely blown away. I thought it looked good, but it didn't look like the next generation Street Fighter, right? From Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V looked good. And this looks like on that level. It doesn't look like a massive jump. And maybe we've reached that point with graphical, uh, you know, looks now, uh, going from one machine to the next, that it's not going to blow your mind the way it used to back in the olden days. Um, am I looking forward to it? Of course. Will I buy it day one? Of course. I just want them to come out with a finished game this time. Uh, Street Fighter V started off broken for me. There was nothing I could even play on it. Uh, you know, the online was down, everything was down. There was no arcade mode in the, you know, Street Fighter V. Very frustrating as a player. And yeah, they fixed all of that eventually. And I played for quite a little bit of time, maybe for about the first year and a half. And then I was done. And I could never really get back involved again. I once, you know, that that opening really kind of burns me a little bit, and it kind of uh, spoiled the whole Street Fighter V experience. And boy, you know, did they ever expand on it and add a lot of new characters? And I really appreciated that. I want a robust game to begin with, with this one, with all sorts of modes to play in, so I can play offline if I don't want to play online. About you know, against opponents, I can just play an arcade mode. I know, is that too much to ask? You, you Back in the day, you'd always get an arcade mode instantly. Uh, so I want a finished game coming out of this one. That's my main thing. I think it looks good. I was a little let down. Ryu looks so massive that it's almost kind of a little bit humorous to me. But do you remember in Street Fighter 4 when they originally showed that? I remember all the characters were beefed up quite a lot and then they kind of brought them back down. Uh, maybe. This is just for some cinemas and stuff like that. But I, I haven't seen the rest of the characters. It's a, it's, a, it's a very light trailer in a lot of ways. But it's interesting how it did show a city. And it looked like you could traverse a city, maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's just part of the cinema there. We'll have to find out later. There's not enough details on that. What did you think of the unveiling of Street Fighter VI? Strange. It was a strange one to me. It was a really weird trailer. I couldn't wrap my head around it if I loved it or not. And I think I liked it, I don't think I loved it. And we'll see where we go going forward. One thing I can say that I did love, and it was the end, end, end trailer. Finally, some more information on Final Fantasy 16. It just seems like a, a long time ago since Final Fantasy 15 now. I said, you know, for the next uh, Final Fantasy game, and we saw the opening trailer, seems like a, a year and a half, two years ago now. I have been dying to see more of this game, and what I saw was absolutely fantastic. Yes, they showed a bunch of summons, they showed all the characters, huge war scenes and stuff like that. They showed some of the combat. It looks gorgeous. I am so hyped. I am so hyped for this game. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what the story is going to bring and all of that. Man, what do you guys think of, uh, you know, Final Fantasy 16? Were you excited about this trailer? I really was. I mean, it did everything that I wanted it to do. I sat there and I was like, okay, a Final Fantasy 16 trailer. And I'm like, oh no, I'm interested. <laughs> you know, you had my attention. Now I'm absolutely interested. I was totally captivated by it. And uh, I, do you know what I like? What I like is that it's been delayed and stuff like that. I like they're taking their time. I, I love that with games. I love it. Take another year. I wouldn't be mad. Take another year if you need it, you know what I mean? And that's coming out summer 2023. So 2023 is going to be a rockin' summer. And it just seems to me that Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake Part Two they're keeping that on the hush-hush. There's no mention of that at all. It seems that I wonder if the game will come out, then we'll get some information, they'll do a trailer before that. I don't, I, I don't think they want us to get too hyped about too many Final Fantasies all at once. They just want us to be hyped about this one. And, you know, don't, don't worry, guys, you accomplished it with me. Uh, we'll see going forward uh, what happens with the, the remake, uh, 7 Remake Part 2. Damn, we're looking forward to that. But overall, 
this was a pretty good state of play. We got Street Fighter shown, even though we'd already kind of seen a little bit of it. We got Resident Evil 4, that was brand new to see. Uh, obviously Resident Evil Village VR 2, not quite what we wanted, we wanted DLC. Final Fantasy 16, we got to see a lot more on that. Man, oh man, I hope a lot of you out there are able to grab PS5s. I hope it's become a little bit more easier to grab in stores because I know it's been so hard for people to get this machine and I've been talking about it for so long now and I, I, I don't want to frustrate anybody who's like, yeah, I'm trying to get a PS5, you know? And it looks like the future is pretty bright with the PS5 so far. I mean, we got a Street Fighter on there, a Final Fantasy game, some more Resident Evil games. I'm totally in and all of that. So guys, I just wanted to give some reactions and some thoughts to the state of play. So anyways, guys, until next time.